Hey everybody and welcome back to Sonic Cat Plays Ghost Trick. This is episode seven. Now I'm recording this on Thursday because my entire household is uh, infected with germ warfare and I expect that I'm not gonna last the day. So I'm recording this a day early. Planning. Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned to the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. Why should I care? What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. I'm dead. He should have said I'm dead. I think that that would have really spiced up the dialogue if he had said that instead. Rick time. Okay, so we uh, remember last time we saved that girl, Lynn, Line, Linne, Linneo, uh, again, the cop. Cop is just so sad. It's all over. It's all over for me. Line, sweet, cute line who shines as bright as the sun ran away on me. And then those detectives matching bookends blue and green yelled at me. <laughs> Forget all that. Listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun line doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives will probably yell at you their whole life. He's true. They probably will. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Go what you can out of it. Would you mind just leaving me the... Alone? Well... I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady's waiting for the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I'd better head there too. I really want to go there instead. Oh wait. I want to go to the chicken kitchen, but we can't go to the chicken kitchen yet. We need to go to the uniformed men's office, also known as the police dormitory. I know it's not actually a police dormitory, but... I'm also drinking chamomile tea to try and stave off literally anything. So how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. <laughs> two more hours, then it's time. I only have to deal with you for two more hours. Yeah, I guess you're right. We should just get back to work. How about you stop talking to me literally forever? I think is what that guy's saying. He's looking at his photo of Lene. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I, oh, flashback. I want you to go find a certain prisoner's work shit. Like, we already said this, like, two seconds ago. D99 is who we're looking for. How do I get to these cells? All right, let's get some information. What do we got? We got a memo. We got another memo. A monitor. Hold on, let's examine the monitor first. The screen shows uh, rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. It's a prison, first off. Secondly, how are you this dumb? <clears throat> Always gonna catch it. What does this one say? Are you gonna crumple it up too? Hey, Bailey? What's the matter? You can't even pin a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C38, huh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story? The music stopped. You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 was the singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that had been broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, like a murder? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? What? Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, let's back it up. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 were singing were completely different from usual. So how is this a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. And that's like not something you can say, oh my bad, I didn't know. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first, like how did he get the inform- 
How, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I was. It's a complete mystery. Why don't they just ask C-38? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. Yeah, crumple that shit up and toss it in the... Ah, ah. I don't know why you thought he was going to do anything different. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away, please? He's going to go back to looking at weird photos. All right, now we're in the trash. Right where I belong. How about this one? Snatch. What does this one say? Hey, Bailey. Your crap keeps falling off the walls. Try pinning up your memos a little better. Let me see this. Inspection, prisoner C-74. It's almost time for that. I'd better get ready. Prisoner C-74, huh? What did that big whale do it? Wow, rude. Um, they really don't appreciate being called big whales, probably. You don't know about Metro Police Department siege? Metro what? No, this guy obviously doesn't know anything. C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why? I mean, why? That's what the detective surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servants of curry and rice on the double. He's just making this up. Curry and rice? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it. I figured that he had used the flamethrower because that's what he was talking about literally 30 seconds ago. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed in flames. Uh, why? Because the curry was too spicy. It was too spicy and I just lost it. Seriously? The case sent shot. Yeah, the shockwaves again with the shot. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, how did a huge. Yeah, how did he make it into the commissioner's office? And how did he not get shot? It's a complete mystery. Why didn't they just ask him? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Imagine natural national secrecy. All right, just toss that shit in the trash can. Ugh. You don't have any more memos on your wall, bud. Well, what now? Is it time to go do something important? Oh, I can't reach it anymore. All right, I'll just hang out in the trash can. Oh, he put another one up. That's nice. I mean, we... We could. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what is this one about? Hey, Bailey. I got, I got another one of your memos here. Let me see it. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Now we're getting somewhere. The chef is preparing it for him right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99... Even I know about this one, you know, dumbass. Yeah? Such a sad case, it's hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he, right in front of a family member? It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? National secrets. Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive of everything was a matter of national security, secrecy. Why don't you just ask him? But apparently, this case is, yeah, a matter of... I don't get it. Well, none of the cases, apparently. You don't... You do, you do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking, or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. Well, you are in a prison, so... I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner we're looking for was convicted of murder, shooting his wife, apparently, in the first degree, I would imagine. Crumple that shit up, toss it. I mean, I don't know why you're even surprised anymore. Alright, so now we know some more information. You're gonna put another memo up seriously? Have you not learned? It's time. Oh. What a walk! Why does he have a guitar? That's weird! It's weird that you let your people walk in. Okay. You know, hey, it's not my prison. Not my problem. What is that? Is it a glass of wine? Did you just stack it on a house of cards? It's done. Okay. Um, I do not believe I can... Uh, woo, 
No, I cannot make it all the way over there. Um, I would like to get to the other side of the... Can I trick right when he grabs it and then move over to the glass or something? Hey, Bailey. Let's read it from over here. Would you quit sending these memos over here? No. Not until I figure out how you always know the instant my memos start falling. Not until I solve that mystery. No, I will not. <laughs> I wish I could spin in my chair like that. Next time, I will find the answer. I guess it's time to try and find a new path. No, we got it. I mean, we're just... I was really enjoying reading all those memos. All right, so we could... I guess we only have one choice. Flip the switch. <laughs> ah! Why would you flip the switch that opens the rocket launcher? There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It was not me. Don't lie. You know you love to see me jump up and prepare for an emergency. He's always ready. Oh, sure, way back when I first got this job, but I've had enough of that. Besides, you always react the exact same way. You, he does. He has them there. It's probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it is for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyways, it wasn't me, so maybe you ought to get a repair, huh? Or maybe you should take your freaking job seriously. Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad state of affairs. Yeah, just leave the siren on. I like the siren on. Night vision goggles. A bazooka. Hold on, why can't I fire the bazooka, please? Okay, hold on, let's go over to this other mo Oh, we can't. That is the worst. All right, we'll just zip our way over to the camera. All right, guess the button. Hey, what happens if we open this door? I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about, the one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Oh, this guy's gonna be real mad. What? What's wrong, officer? What happened? That's really weird that the door keeps opening. Don't you think you might do something about it the third time or maybe the fourth time? Isn't that a little strange? Yeah, no, just keep... Go about your business. I'm sure that's not weird at all. I can't... Ugh, yeah, yeah. How do I? How do I? I like the siren going off. I can't jump over. Oh wait, I can if you jam your... If you really jam that button, apparently you can. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's this way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Cinnamon's like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty. Nah, no, not quite. Something primitive. Press the button again. I'm sure it's fine. Peace out. All right, good talking with you. And now he opens it. All right, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about give me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own life, my own way, to my own music. I don't know why he has a guitar. That seems annoying. Honestly, it seems like something you would not allow someone to have in their prison cell because that would just be real aggravating to, oh, uh, I don't know, every single prisoner that's in the... That... Oof. So I made it to the cells, finally. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Line possibly want with that information? All right, we got about 15 minutes to get this done. Oh, please stop. Damn. Don't think I could take another step in this stinking pit. Well, maybe you shouldn't have sung about national secrets, huh? Looks like guard man is gone. High five. Woo, great. You made it. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hopefully this one will finally do it. Are you trying to... 
It's the... Not really sure what he's doing, like sending secrets or something? Trying to clog the toilet? Trick time. Okay, before I get to that, we can play the drum, or we can do nothing with a bunk. We can examine some notes. Oh, so this is one of those little blackboards line mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. It's blank, buddy. What, what, tonight? I lost a lot of things, my life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! Well, I mean, well, that, well, you know. I'm sure the uh, landlords will be happy to know that the serfs can no longer read again. I see that there's some kind of writing on this. No, there's literally no writing on it. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, ah. What am I supposed to report back to Lion? Well, you report that you're apparently illiterate. If I tell her I couldn't read, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Because you're already dead. That's the joke. I get it. May as well try to find Prisoner D99's cell. Hopefully, I'll at least be able to find something while I'm there. I can't go back empty-handed. But of course, their ghost doesn't actually have hands. Hilarious. Let's examine the, the note. There's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. I'm going to assume the same thing is going to happen if we... I can't play the drum now. Can you come back so I can play the drum, please? Oh god, this guy's... Let's play the drum. Okay, hey, that's great that I can do that and all. But it's not actually helpful to me in any way, shape, or form. Please let me out of this guy's cell so I don't have to listen to his horrible music anymore. All right, we're in a phone. This telephone, it looks like an internal line. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building. Hey, great to know. Is this a let all of the uh, prisoners out of their cells button? We're in a, a bunk. Ooh. So if we trick this, I guess we can go back to like the main room. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna press the emergency button then because that seems to be the only thing that I can currently do. Let's see what this does. An emergency button, an emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Oh. Go, go, go! Oh, he's trying to tell people things. 100% he is. Are you gonna make a call? I caused quite an uproar, I guess, and I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. Might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or use the D-pad to do the exact same thing. Maybe this little behavior will give me a clue to my next step. Oh, he sent the paper to a fat guy who's trying to escape. Who put his spoon in there and he's digging his way out. Oh. I see, so he has a, uh, his toilet's in front of it. Yep, just sitting here sleeping with my weird head and a weird device. All clear. It, do they not find it weird that someone pressed the emergency button? So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, huh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. Yeah, I... I okay, so we're gonna... Wait, is he gonna toss that? Is he about to toss that? I think he is. Ba-boom! Do it, flush it. All right, so we have possessed a piece of paper in the sewage system. This is progress. Now we're in the weird guy's cell who just rolls around like a giant baby and he has a chicken leg poster on his back wall, which is slightly weird. 
And he licked his spoon after digging a tunnel. I'm not sure that this is a great idea. And why has no one been like, hey, uh, why do you have a weird rope in your toilet? Also, isn't it weird that his trash can would be getting full of, like, garbage? And how has no one seen this? How also, how does he fit through that hole? I have a lot of questions. How has no one noticed that this man is not in his cell? By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that, where did he go? Behind the wall. Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too, just to be safe. Maybe I'd better check out his schedule for him. But you can't read, dude. I guess I could ring the bell to get him back here, probably. Woo! Okay, can't go anywhere. Let's check it out. I still can't read, but I'd better check out it. Okay. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner's lines investigating looks like. Oh, I can't. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I guess we're going to ring the bell to get him back into his cell. Ring! Oh, he's spooked. I can't. I can't reach. Woo! Nope. Stand up, please. Thank you. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? We got a bunk. We have an emergency phone. Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internal phone. I know. You didn't have to explain that, but thanks anyway, I guess. Who's in this cell? The painter guy? The guy with the beard. Prisoner D99, I suspect. Hmm. Oh, that must be the commissioner with his mustache. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside, he seems to be enjoying himself. Well, I mean, this is the last cell in the area, so that must mean the man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guards said. Oh, flashback. D99, huh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family. Right, we, we know the flashback. He's a cold-blooded murderer. Well, I mean, they said that he shot his wife, so... Probably that is what really happened. And why is Lion so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for- I mean, there is kind of like a need for you to know because she is forcing you to do all this. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what his work schedule is for tomorrow, which is the strangest- the strangest request, but we'll go with it. So we're in his toilet at the moment. Open the picture frame. Boop. Newspaper article. Hold on, let's let's talk to ourselves. Photos, huh? I wonder if this is his family, like the wife that he shot. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did you do it out of hatred? Thankfully, that's some... Nah, okay. We don't need to know that, apparently. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I'm illiterate. It's probably about D99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, that's him. I think when you, like, murder your wife, you're not really, like, the suspected cult. You're just, you, that is you. The information line's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I'm illiterate. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. What could this mean? There's nothing written here at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners, but this board is blank. Are you sure he didn't just write it in, like, invisible ink? So I have the answer line was looking for. Tomorrow was tomorrow's work schedule is nothing. What would this information mean to her anyway? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. So are they all planning an escape for tomorrow? Is that what's going on here? What do you got? Not being able to read. I was wondering how this was gonna turn out. Something this world in this world can be read even if one can't read. His work schedule tomorrow is blank. I'd better get this important information to line as fast as I can. We'll just, uh, tentacle our way around his cell here. And, ah, oh, I can't get over there. Okay, wait. Close the picture frame. D99 is dinner time.
Wow, you gave him a whole turkey? Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. Too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's about been about two hours since the time it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? That This is not the kind of guard you want to be hiring for your prison, the kind that is asking prisoners these kinds of questions. I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has for been forgotten by everybody, myself included. Detective Jowd. Jowd. Yowd? Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. Here's a bottle of wine? What did he paint? There's one more thing I've been wondering. Where did you get that lovely pink shirt? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this? It's me. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Oh, it's us! Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure, yeah, sorry to bother you. I'll just be over here then, whatever. Wait a minute. It was all a trick to get his cell empty and no guards. Ta-da! Big reveal. What in the world? What could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Well, I think it means you're related to the case somehow. Who exactly is this Briz D99? The man whose case line is investigating is a painting and a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Line fast, and not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. The me mystery. The mystery. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, he is just going to town on that chicken. Napkin. Bottle. Waste basket. Oh, we can't possess the painting. Hold on, open the waste basket. Bloop. Hold on, open the waste basket. That did literally nothing. Good to know. I guess we'll go make a phone call. All right, have fun, prisoner D99. This telephone, I know, I know. I know. Go to the office. Oh, it's these two idiots again. Is it line? Hello? This is headquarters. What's the status over there? I don't know what that guy's voice actually sounds like, but in my head it made sense. Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making the preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanilla wishes to speak to you. Ooh, so cool. Hand me the phone. Ha! Evening. Cabanea here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanea, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? Yes, sir. From line? Oh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, no, not especially. She hung up almost immediately, almost as if she doesn't like talking to us. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir, immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive, after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then I might pop in a little later. I don't know why they put that in quotes. That's strange. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. So am I. Uh, I just realized that uh, the captain was not wearing shoes. He was not wearing shoes. Line should be headed for the chicken kitchen now, but the call from police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white suited inspector suspects Line. Now, see, when you call someone a fugitive, it's not that you suspect, it's that literally you're saying they have broken the law and run from the law. So it's like a little bit, a little bit more. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white. Inspector Cabanea seems to be looking for her too. Your line, I mean. Inspector Cabanea? What would the special investigations unit want with line? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight, of all nights. It's a coincidence. Inspector Cabanea must be upset tonight too. 
Weren't he in Prisoner D99? Detective Jowd, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cab... Ugh, it's really destroying my throat. Cabanea never came to visit him. He's the head of special investigations. He's a very busy man. Oh my god, he's so mad. Hey, at least his glass fell without spilling. Jowd was my hero, you know? I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me! Rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Line. What am I doing with my life? Well, I mean, not much. You are crumpling up a lot of memos. This new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, next thing to do is get into, get into work at fixing what little you can. For example, your house of cards it just collapsed. Did you know that? Ugh. I'd feel about the same way if I had to deal with that guy on a regular basis. All right, so we're actually out of time. Maybe we should make their call to the chicken kitchen. We'll make our call to the chicken kitchen, save our games, and wrap up here. It's a good stopping point. We got a lot of story done today. We know uh, a little bit more about what's happening. Welcome to the chicken kitchen. I like this theme song. The chicken kitchen. This is where that little lady in line are supposed to meet, but there's no one here. I don't see either one of them here. I guess they haven't shown up yet. Perfect. I was wondering if it was gonna give me uh, time to save and put our game. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up there. This was episode seven of Ghost Trick. We're learning a little bit more about the story about how everything is interconnected and we're making a little bit, a little bit of progress each time. Uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be involved in another, uh, another pretty intense puzzle like we had a couple episodes ago. Uh, trying to stop the Hitman, that would be, if we could do that, that would be great. But I'm enjoying just kind of moving around the arenas, like solving things, investigating. Uh, you know, every time you get a little bit more of the story, it's like a big deal in these kinds of games. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. As always, let me know what you think, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. You know, enjoy, uh, you know, enjoy talking to you guys. I'm sorry, I messed that up. The whole episode is ruined now. I should just scrap it. Anyways, uh, uh, burn bright, everybody. I'll just, we'll just end it.